Oh, the game is over. That's so sad. I will never make it as a bartender in the big time. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the Spanless Gamer, where we're playing Atari games in the order they came out in. Today we're playing two games now, and we got a, a, a little special episode for later. Uh, we are playing Super Cobra and Tapper, and Super Cobra is our first game today, which came out in 1983, and the box art looks like this. Parker Brothers game from the arcade game series, and we just got kind of a helicopter shooting missiles at the top. Okay, I guess they are going around the blades. That seemed like a bad design choice. Back of the box. You are a helicopter gunship pilot on a daring and dangerous mission. Air surveillance of enemy territory. Success depends on how far you can penetrate airspace. Can you handle the pressure? Nope. Because the further you go, the more difficult the mission becomes. Show what you got, what it takes by maneuvering your chopper around craggy mountain peaks through deep dark tunnels all over tall city buildings. All while facing enemy tanks and missiles and weird sky-flying weapons. But you can fight back with high-flying quick thinking and fast reaction moves. Good luck and good flying. Weird flying weapons. Alright, well, let's get into this game. Okay, so this is the game, Super Cobra. Let's give it a shot. I guess we're the little helicopter there. It appears that every other shot goes down and is a bomb. That is a weird design choice. Yeah, that's gonna make things difficult. Graphics are not too good. Um, sounds pretty decent though. A little jingle there at the beginning was kind of neat. I guess rapid fire is really the only way to do this, because it's pretty difficult to time your shots when every shot is every other shot is different. Um, except it's got one of those things where your bullets only go until you press the button again. So, just like in real life, a bullet stops when the next bullet comes out of the gun. Pretty difficult. It's like a reverse river raid. All right, and just starts me over. So let's uh, let's rate this game. Graphics, I'll give those a three and a half. Sound, we'll give that a five and a half. Music had some, we'll give that a five. Story, uh, really not a story. It's just kind of your helicopter probably kill things. Do it. Two. Controls. Controls are weird with the alternating shooting pattern, so we're going to give that a 3. Funness. Uh, this version of Super Cobra is just going to get a 2.5. And, and Funness doesn't hold my attention. A 2. And overall, Super Cobra for the Atari 2600. And yeah, we'll give it a 3. 3.5. Um, three and, and let's move on to the next game. Alright, our next game today is Tapper on the Atari 2600, which of course is an arcade game that most people are familiar with. Uh, it was either Root Beer Tapper or um, Beer Tapper, where it was like themed with Budweiser, I think it was. Uh, Atari Box is Tapper. It doesn't say Root Beer Tapper, so it might be beer. Ooh. This is nominated for the most innovative co-op game of 1984 by Electronics Gaming Magazine. And the back of the box just has some... Oh, it's Mountain Dew, I guess. Um, I think these are actually Atari graphics. Hmm, we'll find out. Side splitting soda spilling laughs and spills the official version of Ma Bally Midway's arcade sensation. Five belly busting screens of soda fountain fun, including four madcap bar rooms of soda starved clamoring cowboys, sports punks or sports fans, punks, and space creatures, plus a head spinning. Sp Soda Bandit bonus round. Awesome color packed action graphics. Just try to keep your cool. Uh, hot headed, crazy customers. Blitz your bar for another cold one. Copyright 1983. Most innovative co op game of 1984. 
something doesn't something doesn't scan there all right let's play the game there we go 1983 again we got a little finger at the top and we're getting an oh Susanna okay all right now I'm finally controlling the stupid thing yeah have your beer yeah you too and you just move up and down and serve beer, and then you get dancing girls. Just like real bartenders. And you just kind of move up and down, and you... As all the music of a Mystique game, there's the Mountain Dew logo. Alright, so I guess we just have to get the one that's not... Shaking up. I'm usually pretty good at these. Kind of makes it difficult on the Atari because frame rates are a little weird. Is he jerking the. Oh, what? Okay. Uh, so now we're at a sporting event or something? And now they're throwing the glasses back because it gets harder. You don't want broken glass. Shouldn't show, uh, really be giving sports fans, uh, glass. Because bad things happen. Must be like 10 cent beer night. I think I'm. Too gun ho. Oh, yeah. I'm pressing the button too fast. That's a little better. I just had to slow my roll. Wow, exciting. Next game by Bally Midway is McDonald's Guy. Take me out to the ball game. I don't know what this song is. Not very good. Oh. Oh, the game is over. That's so sad. I will never make it as a bartender in the big time. Graphics, uh, it's a decent graphical port. It's not bad. Uh, I'll give that a six. Uh, sound, sound is okay. Five and a half. Music is annoying and not too good. We'll give it a two. Story, I mean, this is back in the day when games were just like, you're a chef, you're a bartender, you're an exterminator, you're a yellow dot that eats things. We'll just give it a uh, two. Controls. Controls are pretty decent. We'll give it a 7. Funness. Uh, tapper can be good uh, for a little bit. It doesn't hold my attention. Pretty decent port. We'll give it a 5 there. And overall, we're going to give Tapper a 5 and a half. Actually, we'll give it a 6. I'm feeling generous. And that's it. Uh, we're going to have a special episode on Sword Quest also today, so check out that. And we will see you next game.